him at once. Sir? Sergeant? Sir, Captain Lacoste reports that the convoy for Bell Rashad will be ready to start in the morning. Send for Captain Girard. Girard for the convoy? You envy him the ride up into those lovely mountains. A few weeks on horseback. Hmm? Still, is he quite the man for this particular mission? After all, the girl is the Amir's only daughter, and, well, you know Girard. That I do. Nothing but scrapes. All for the same reason. Women. How does he do it? I've often wondered. <clears throat> I know a little of such things. But it's a long way to Bel Rashad. And if Gerard's average holds up, who knows what may develop. Well, I must admit he seems qualified. Bamboo! Bamboo? Oh. Such a face. One would think you're carrying the worries of the world on your shoulder. The Colonel wants Captain Gerard. But his leave started today. He hasn't left, has he? No, not yet. But knowing the captain, I'd look for him in some nice, cool room with a sultry lady. There are so many sultry ladies in Tesco. Uh -huh. Interesting problem, isn't it? You're as orderly. You solve it. Yes, sir. Good evening, Yasmina. Have you seen the captain? No. Well... Did the captain... Captain. Captain. Oh, oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Captain Gerard, it's very important. Captain, your orderly is here. He says he's something very important to tell you. Thanks, Henry.
pop and brings out all my talents. Really? Yes. Shall I tell you about some of them? If you don't mind, just dance. Looks like real gold. And everything about you looks real. See you, sir, hours ago. Uh-huh. Did you put my uniforms away? No, I never do until I. With a compliment to my mistress. What's that for, Captain? Service is rendered. Here's our farthest outpost in the mountain country. Farnborough is the name of the commanding officer. And over here a few miles, just outside his authority, is the citadel of Bel Rashad. Its ruler has a daughter, a most attractive girl. I know, sir. I met her. Already? We were dancing when you sent for me. I guess I picked the right man for this job. Well, <clears throat> each spring she goes to France and returns here in October when we send a convoy to take her home. October? Why, this is only June. That's just what puzzles me. Coupled with some information I received, it may be significant. So you're to head her escort, and once there, I want you to find out what her father's up to. Yes, sir. After you've left Bel Rashad, take the troops on to strengthen Fronval's garrison. Yes, sir, my... Your leave, yes, I... <clears throat> I'm sorry about your leave, but you can have it when you come back. Thank you, sir. The young lady uh, might prove a help somehow, but of course, how you handle that phase of the mission, like the rest, is entirely in your hands. I understand. Your record is an excellent one, except for certain, uh, shall we say, uh, romantic uh, complications. My duties have taken me into many strange places. So I notice. Tangiers, Beds, Casablanca, La Roche. In fact, in looking over these escapades of yours, I have a moment of regret that I've become an old man. Well, uh, they say you're only as old as you feel. Unfortunately, I also feel old. Good luck, Captain. Thank you, sir. Ladies. 
as you might expect, sir. She always rests after luncheon. I'm sorry, but we have to start in ten minutes. A dancer. And the captain in charge of this convoy, Paul Gerard. With the same insolence, refusing to stop when I asked it, and that miserable lunch. I'll not have my convoy run like this. If this is your convoy, it's false of yours. If it's mine, we start in ten minutes. You're impertinent. We're still a long way from your territory. By dark, I like to be where we can't be used as target practice. Ten minutes, please. Courier from Tesca just got here with this. Thanks, Bambo. I've been looking all afternoon for a place to spend this. <laughs> we must be off the road. Do you mind if I keep it as a souvenir? I'm sorry about that. And if I found it arbitrary this afternoon, won't you sit down? I'm afraid I don't have a very even disposition. That's not unusual in a beautiful woman. Thank you, Captain. You sound like an expert just a student. And I have scars to prove it. And wish for no others? Tell me, do you think we're safe here? As much as can be expected. You French don't trust us much, do you? Now, where did you get that idea? My father. Yes? I imagine talking to him would be quite an experience. You might find some of his views quite different from yours. So many minds, so many opinions. And yours, of course, are the correct ones. Why not? I'm afraid you're a conceited man, Captain. And so often, conceit is the last refuge of a scoundrel. Good night.
hand always. very sensitive and thoughtful, too. You've made a dull journey exciting. Thank you. I deliver you to Belle Rochette tomorrow, a forbidden city for Frenchmen. Have you a cigarette? sitting at a desk can be about operations in the field. I'm sure the Colonel has complete faith in you. Have you? The woman, it was a woman, wasn't it, that caused you to join the Legion? Have you forgotten her? Yes. I never thought there could be another. No, Paul. No, this can never be. Not for us, Paul. You and I are worlds apart. It cannot be. It can be. Error, I swear. Nothing can stop me from seeing you again. Repeat my warning that it shall pass safely. When the convoy arrives, tell the officer I wish to thank him. The Frenchman in Belle Rashad? Now? Last year, she said, if I again failed to be courteous, she would see to it herself. So, better a small risk than an awkward and perhaps suspicious scene at the gates. Thank you, Osmond. Captain Gerard, the Kaid Osmond, my father's aide-de-camp. 
The Emir extends his compliments and asks that you favor him with your presence. Delighted. So, Captain, you are new to this part of Morocco. Quite, although I served at other stations. It does seem that we provide a fine opportunity for career officers. Some of us wouldn't choose it if we were asked. True, I have no doubt. Must be a dreary life for a stranger. I'm only a soldier of the line who goes where he's sent. May I point out, Captain, that we shouldn't be distressed to see you sent back home. If it weren't for us, Kaid Osman, you might find yourselves a lot unhappier. How typical. Early Arab geographers call this the Isle of West. But to Europeans, it's always been Barbary, the home of barbarians unable to take care of themselves. But after your long ride, I shouldn't weary you with such discussion. Thank you again for your kindness to my daughter. It was a pleasant responsibility. And if we meet again, I hope to find you in better spirits. One day, who knows? You may find me quite happy. Captain Gerard extends his compliments, sir. He will report after he's turned his man over to the officer of the day, sir. I've been waiting this long. I'll manage a few minutes more. It must have been something important to detain him so long at Bel Rashad. I'm sure it was, Commandant. Important? <laughs> no, nothing more important than a smell of perfume. If I can use the expression, oh, sure. I heard of this, Gerard. That is men, if you know what I mean. You know, one of those fellows whose whole life is just a parade of women. And what a lovely parade. What was that? The captain. Captain Gerard reporting, sir. Glad to have you with us, Gerard. Lieutenant Glisco, my second in command. Well, we were concerned about you. One of our scouts reported your detachment nearing Bel Rashad hours ago. I stopped to have tea with the Emir. Here are my orders, sir. I've been out here for years, and the only invitation he ever gave me was to keep my distance. Maybe you never had the pleasure of delivering him his daughter. I did. Yeah, I did, and he never had me. He might have thought you'd scare the children. Why? Oh, oh, you mean that... Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. Your orders state that you're to report only to Colonel Pascal, and that you're to have complete freedom. Very well. Consider us at your disposal. Thank you, sir. I'll try not to ask for too much. Not at all. It'll be a novelty to have a new face at mess. It'll be a novelty for the captain to be with no women. The captain might find it, uh, you know, dull, Lieutenant. Yes, dull, Captain. That's exactly what I was just about to say. The Lieutenant sounds as if he was a ladies' man. Oh, me? Oh, no. <laughs> Never. I see. A married man. What? Very married. But you know, my wife, she likes to fight. And mind you, never a straight attack. Always ambushing me. You know what I mean? Bombarding me with flat irons. <laughs> Ladies, man. Oh, no, sir. As my late father would always say, all women are unfair. If they weren't, there'd be no foreign legion. Well, I wouldn't say so. You see, my late father, he would... Gentlemen, what about a drink? Without ice. Thank you, sir. Has your game taken on new subtleties, Carol? I haven't played since last with you, Father. Then perhaps you're out of practice. 
or thinking of something else. Perhaps of being ordered home months earlier than usual. Told not to leave the palace. And no mention of why. I'm afraid sending you to Europe wasn't wise. Just as well you're not to return. Not to return, but... Ever since I arrived at Belle Rochette, I've sensed a difference here. Why? What's happened, Father? Very little for too many years. But all conditions change. Are you thinking of taking up arms against the French? Why are you so surprised? You know how long that has been my dream? But I always thought it was no more than that. Nothing that you actually intended to do. You think I only talk of my obligations? Yes, you have been influenced. Perhaps by some French officer. You'll excuse me. I'd like to go to my room. Down to dispensary. Yes, sir. That shot, it didn't sound like one of their old muskets. That bullet, when you... Yes, when you take it out of him, we better have a look at it. Have a look at it. And the devil's in the cockeyed witch. I was just about to say it. <laughs> Looks like it's from a brand new weapon. No doubt it is. That explains why you're having a lot more trouble with snipers lately. Yeah. They're out there like sand fleas and just as hard to catch. <laughs> Maybe the captain can, uh, you know, attract one for us. Why not? He's just from headquarters. <laughs> nice, tender. <laughs> That's a very good suggestion, Lieutenant. Yeah. If you find me a native's outfit, I'll try and catch one of the Belle Rashad kind. Captain, uh, I was just joking. It can be... A one-way trip, I might tell you. I found the way out before. Cigarette? Thanks. I will do my best to make it soon, but there are problems. Wrist. 
past. There is. Past. There is. Who are you? A foreigner. Because of you? Yes. I need a place to hide. In quick. In here. Oh. oh. Darling, you took this risk for me. It was worth it. You're not sorry I'm here? Sorry. My oh, darling. Amira, a Frenchman has gotten past the inner gate. A Frenchman? He was seen coming toward the palace, Amira. Come. Father, those shots. They've discovered a French spy at the arsenal. A spy? In the arsenal? It was after one of our new rifles. Understand. You would if you hadn't become so fond of the French. Go back to your room and stay there. You might not want to see one of your dear French killed.
One of the new Mausers. Andre Devils and a cockeyed witch of that old goat, Emir has them, then we. Where did you get it? In Bel Rashad. There are cases of them coming by caravan, and heavier stuff on the way. Did you have any trouble? Yes, the Emir knows what happened. And you'd better stop at Keskit tonight. Yes, sir. Briscoe. Yes, sir. You can go with him. And bring back any reinforcements Colonel Pascal decides to send me. Yes, sir. I'll be ready as soon as I change, if you know what I mean. What does he mean? Oh, the old Cossack doesn't like the idea of dying in a dirty shirt. <laughs> Sounds like a good soldier. He's the best one I've got. Even if at times I do think he's really a horse. That's good to know. If I lose mine, I'll saddle him. <laughs> Try to get through Sheriffy and Gap before daylight. You may not make it. Deliver this to Colonel Pascal. Good luck and my personal thanks. Thank you, sir. Ready, men? because I had to ask that you do not go outside the walls? I'm content here. I wonder if you're more emotionally involved with that man Gerard than you've told me. To me, he's even more despicable than the others. Oh? The other night, I thought you felt somewhat differently. That was the other night. I hope you see that he's just another enemy of our people. You needn't worry, Father. I know what he is. I'm leaving for a few days. When I return, I hope to bring interesting news. You're going to start it? Goodbye, my dear. are the same. Hurry up and wait, if you know what I mean. A hundred devils and a witch. Yes. Cockeyed witch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that waiting, that's the only quarrel I ever had with from Val. For weeks I wanted to go to Ben Rashad to tickle that old god where he tickles most, but no. <laughs> Politics. So what happens? The snipers ping, ping, ping. We wait, and very soon, dead. How would you know the difference stuck up there in that hole? Hole? Now, let me tell you this. That hole, that's the best yes, little... Yes, I know. It's I the look, best little... This is the... Ah, gentlemen. Come in. Come in. Bring the gun. So, altogether, it looks like they're arming for an open assault. Then, Farm Bell will need some more troops. Let's go. Yes, sir. Take this to Captain Dupinay and tell him I want those units assembled at once. Yes, sir. You did a good job, Gerard. You've earned your leave. I don't like to disappoint you again, but I'm short of officers. You'll have to go back. Yes, sir. Thank you. Make it a forced march. Iron rations. Only enough rest to keep them going. Yes, sir.
our men to hold their fire. Too many soldiers. Hurry! Hurry! Anything wrong, Captain? Look. Get me some scouts and a detail I'm in. Wait here for my signal. Yes, sir. Down the advance.
And if we follow you into this rebellion, what of our Sultan? He's friendly to the French. Would you go on to take his power as well? Forgive me. Perhaps that is an unfair question. But let me say only two things. The French have helped us greatly, and they are too powerful to come back. Wait. For years, I've heard that dismal whimper from weary old men that we cannot face our invader. But what will the answer be to this? To prove how weak these French truly are, I've wiped out their entire garrison outside my city. So again I say, join me. Go to your people and prepare. And all over Morocco, others will do the same. No, no, do not be I'm worried about that broken wall. Can it be repaired? Well, you know how it is. We have no cement, have to use mud. Captain, you figure the old dog will be back? After what happened? He has to. Here, send this report to Colonel Pascal and tell the courier to make it fast. And if it rains, we'll be entirely cut off. Captain, you know, I was thinking, we cannot be reinforced for at least a month, and even then... That's why I'm not order. waiting. Tonight I'm taking a raiding party to Bel Rashad. It's into that ammunition dump. And the devils, how can you think and talk so fast? They was just about... They're just the same thing. Yes, sir, same thing. Let me do it, Paul, please. But I know where the place is. So do I. And besides, uh, if you pardon me, you have no right to go. You are in charge now. And I can't give myself the right. Oh, but listen, Paul, listen, next to you, I'm the senior officer here. I'm a good soldier, all right, but you know, these running things, plans, organizing, no. No, Paul, if you get killed under me, this post falls down like a thick horse. There are three other officers oh, here. What are you saying, Paul, officers? One is a boy just out of St. Cyr, two others just as new. No, you and me, we are the only ones with time in the field. And if you pardon me, I had many commandants, but from Wally was the only one I, you know, I could really like. So I've got to make those butchers pay a little for that one armed old son of a gun. And you won't stop me, Paul, will you? All right. I take only volunteers. And come back, you hear? That's an order. Yes, sir, an order. I'll go as soon as they change my shirt, if you know what I mean. And thank you, Paul. Everything. Oh, 
All right. We'll take the old goat himself. Follow me. Follow me. The rest of the men, around the pillar. Your father. He's gone. Days ago. You made it, huh? Have any luck? Sure. I got a prisoner. A prisoner? In here. Hey, come here. I thought you were killed with the rest of them. Kidnapping women. What did you do? Get your armies mixed up? Oh, the old goat was gone, so I thought that we had a hostage. You know. You thought. Where's your father, Tara? Out boasting to the other tribes. Do you know we lost over a hundred men here? Too bad you weren't among them. Put her in my room. I'll move in with you. They will be like a hornet with a toothache. A stream that feeds this well. You think you can get the stock there after dark? Oh, sure. It's only a few miles. Have your sergeant take him over. I'll do it myself. I know the place. But this time, only do what you're supposed to do. Understand? Yes, Captain.
talk to you, and I want you to listen carefully. Listen to some more of your lies. I did lie to you. I had to. My return with that gun meant the saving of thousands of legionnaires all over Morocco. Can't you understand that? I didn't have time for explanations. I'm not interested in them now. Why are you holding me here? Because an entire garrison was massacred here, and we can't afford to lose any more men. But you can be sure nothing will happen to you. Have you finished, Captain? No. The night before our arrival at El Rashad, I told you I loved you. That happened to be the truth. Unfortunate, isn't it? What is it? They're dynamiting the river. Change its course. That means our well will go completely dry. We must let the horses go now. I guess you're right about the horses. They'll be better off than we will. Is cut, CD, just as you ordered. Good. Soon that miserable fort will start weakening. Still waiting might be dangerous. I know. But I can't attack with my daughter there. They take it. A cavalryman with no horses, like a foot soldier with no feet. <laughs> Have the gate open. Open the gate! has been entirely cut off. We might not get any more until reinforcements arrive. So hereafter, each man will be limited to one cup a day. I hate to give this order, but anyone caught stealing will be shot. The Arabs may wait a while before starting over here again, so we have to conserve as best we can. At ease. Attention! Sip it slowly. It'll last longer.
You must be lucky in love, Bamboo. Blow me another cup. You know I'm good for it. You'd better be. Still losing, eh? You know, Lieutenant, when you have to win, you never do. Mm. Thank you. Hey, 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 drink it here. No gambling. What are you, Bamboo, a card player? Oh, no, sir, no, no. But the men I play with are. You heard the captain about how we have to hold out. Right now, you need water as much as you need your gun. What would you think about a soldier who went into battle without a gun? Well, I think he was an officer, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey! God, how, but... I... Oh, Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory.
poor Dumbo. Just for a little water. Yeah. Our situation is pretty desperate. Karen, there won't be any more water after tonight. What's going to happen to the man? And to us? Evidently, your father's satisfied to let you die with us. He's in too deep to draw back now. Even for me. We're not going to stay here and be trapped like a bunch of rats. We're going to make a break for it tomorrow. Oh. Oh. I believe now what you said the other night. Listen. Camel, why aren't you out there sopping up some of this miracle? What is it? The wall. How long will it last? An hour, perhaps less. You know, it was made of mud and sand. Most likely the Emir will attack it as soon as it falls down. Oh, no, he won't. Don't forget our little pigeon. She isn't here anymore. She did? I couldn't let her die for something that wasn't her fault. So I let her go last night. You what? I didn't think it would rain. And after all, she's a woman. Who is a woman? She's a hot bitch. And what if she did die? Is she any better than the rest of us? Yes. Oh, let's see. That's it. You think she's in love with you. And because she's in love with you, she will talk her father out of trying to kill us. Maybe I made a mistake. There goes the wall. Come on. What are you going to do? I'm going to get the explosives ready. You start setting up the minefield as soon as the rain stops. Plant most in front of the broken place. Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Get the machine guns in order. Very well, sir.
wires are all set up and connected, sir. Anything else? Yes. Have the men take their stations. Yes, sir. As I feared, they have reconsidered. We'll wait until dawn. Cover this entire section. Any time now. They will. What is it? Word has come that the rest of the Caid have refused to join us. They want no more French killed. Nor do I. Have my horse saddled immediately. I must stop my father. Still no sign of them. Then we'll do it alone.
In accordance with my pledge, I've come to renew our oath of allegiance. In the name of the French government, I accept your word. And thank you for your good offices and helping to restore order. 